Today we're going to be unboxing something very exciting from AMD. And actually, it's funny that I should say from AMD because right here you can see they've actually changed the branding finally. AMD acquired ATI way long time ago, but now finally, instead of ATI Radeon Graphics, it is now officially AMD Radeon Gra Graphics as of the 6000 series. So this is the Radeon 6870, which is one of the first two Radeon 6000 series graphics cards. It supports up to four displays in AMD iFinity. So that's an increase of, up, of one more display from the 5870 series. Okay, so that means you can run two off of the display port. So those are two mini display port and then two off of DVI or HDMI. So you've got a total of three connectors there. Let's turn this over and we'll have a look at what it's got to say about itself on the box. So this is an MSI card. That means they've got a lot on here about MSI Afterburner, which allows you to overclock and uh, do optimal fan profiles, all that good stuff. Afterburner is an awesome piece of software. You've probably seen me use it on my blog a lot of times. It's got solid caps, which means up to 10 years of lifetime. They actually calculate it out to 12 years, assuming you're actually gaming 24 seven for all 12 years. Here's a couple of highlighted features, which I I guess I'll sort of, I'll talk about that briefly while I open the box and we'll have a look at this card right away because to be perfectly honest with you, I have not seen this. I have never seen one of these cards. This is going to be my first time just like you. Ooh, nice sticker actually. Okay, so there it is. That is the Radeon HD 6870. So let's get it undone here. And then I'm just going to lay this out for you to sort of for cameraman to look at while I tell you a little bit more about it. So in terms of, we already talked about the displays out. So we have support for AMD Avivo, that's their HD video and display technology. We've got Crossfire X, okay? We've got only one Crossfire finger up there, so that means we've only got two-way Crossfire, not three-way Crossfire. We have Ifinity technology with support for up to three displays. Hold on a minute, pause the video. Blu-ray movie acceleration, by the way, that looks like a typo on the features of the box because it does support four displays. It's compliant with DirectX 11, which we already have come to expect, and it is designed for Direct Compute 5.0 and OpenCL. Windows 7 support is a given, and it can accelerate Office 2010 applications. It supports HDMI 1.4a, which means that you do have support for Blu-ray 3D playback with the appropriate software. So let's start moving this card around and have a look at it. So as I mentioned before, we've got one crossfire finger up here at the top for up to two-way crossfire. So you can run two 6870s in a crossfire configuration. You've got a really slick looking shroud on here. So this part is actually metal. So what I'm gonna go ahead and speculate, actually here, maybe I can see through there. Um, no, I can't really, can't really see in there, but I would speculate that this piece of metal is actually cooling some of the RAM chips on the front of the card, and then it turns into plastic at this seam right here, as far as I can tell, and so that's just a plastic fan shroud. You've got two six-pin PCI Express connectors, and then moving around to the back of the card, you've got a continuation of that pattern that's just going to look really, really sharp in your case, whether you have uh, a case with that where the graphics cards are installed this way, or one where you've got your motherboard tray on the other side and it installs this way. It just looks really good. All right, so let's move around to the business end of the card where we have two DVI connectors, one HDMI connector. Now, just like the 50, uh, 5000 series, you can only use two of these at a time. If you want four displays, that means that two of them will be powered by the mini DisplayPort connectors, which you find here. Much like the 5870, it has only a half exhaust uh, at the back of the I.O. panel, so that means that all of the air will have to be exhausted out that small hole. With the 5000 series, it didn't have a huge impact on the cooling performance, so I wouldn't worry too much about it for this one, because I'd say based on the overall weight of the card, the dimensions of the cooler, the size of the fan, it's probably got pretty similar thermal characteristics to the last generation card. On the back, we find a slick black PCB. Now, one thing that might seem like it's missing from a 6870 card is like a shroud on the back, but you gotta remember, the 6800 series is not the equivalent of the 5800 series in terms of where it belongs in the AMD lineup. This is actually going to be a performance uh, like a performance card, but not an extreme card. This isn't the highest end series. 
So let's go ahead and put this down and let's take out what we have in here in terms of accessories. So first we have a quick user's guide, then we have a driver disc, which you may actually need to use depending on uh, when AMD releases the drivers on their site. Okay, driver and utility. Then we have a mini display port to display port adapter. So that'll allow you to at least run uh, Ifinity with three displays if you don't have any mini display port monitors or adapters. Then you've got two Molex to PCIe six pin power connectors. You've got one Crossfire bridge, which is all you will need. Then you have a DVI to VGA adapter if you are still using a VGA monitor. Last but not least, we've got a 6800 series well, another quick start guide by the look of things. Shows you how to update your drivers using their live update. So there you have it, the 6800, or 6800 series, 6870 from MSI. And we're going to be doing a ton of videos about this guy. Power consumption, length, review, all that good stuff. So stay tuned.